Hey everyone, it's Joe Swenson, executive producer of the Loved Ones podcast, president of Broken Arts Entertainment. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about audacity and how we can use audacity. I also want to make sure that you understand the difference between you know the location of your microphone and things like that. Like right now, you can't see my microphone. It's not a big deal if you can see it or not. We're doing audio anyway. But this is my microphone. I you currently use a Blue Yeti as my microphone. Keep in mind that with the Yetis and and uh, and uh, microphones like this, the sound comes out of the front. So my sound probably got a little more distant there when I did that. Um, but I want to make sure that we're setting up the sound the right way. So you're speaking directly into the front of the microphone versus into the top of the microphone. All right. So I just want to make sure to clear that up real quick. That just gives you a better space. Also, you want to be about a foot to 18 inches away, just so that we have that um, continuity and sound and stay in that distance. You don't want to get too close. If you're too close, your P's and B's will end up being pops. Um, if you want to, you could certainly use a pop screen. Um, I advise a pop screen. Pop screen looks like this. This is a pop screen. I advise a pop screen, especially if you are a good peer. You know what I mean by that is if you're really good at enunciating your P's, all right, so that, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna go through Audacity. So let me just uh, pull up Audacity real quick. Wanna make sure that you're set up properly on Zoom. So it's very important that you click, go down to the bottom left-hand corner where it says mute <clears throat> on, your, on your Zoom. And you wanna click on the, uh, uh, the up arrow button. I've taken a screenshot, so you'll be able to see this. Um, but you want to make sure that your select uh, their speaker head your check mark is set to headphones. You know, want to make sure that you, that way there's less sound bleed, less likely there, for there to be sound bleed. So that's why we require that you wear some kind of headphones, some kind of now sound sound canceling type uh, setup. And then you want to make sure your microphone is set up to your Yeti. Um, cause you can run multiple applications off the same, same, same setup. All right. Now I'm going to share and you will see audacity. For those of you that are using audition, I assume that at this point, if you're using audition, you already know what you're doing for the most part. I prefer that you utilize the default aspects of audition versus messing with too much on the on the sound because we do have people using audacity that are basically using the same same frame rates as the uh, basic setup for audition but if you want to get really technical about it be my guest just make sure you send me the speed all right so what we're going to do is your director is going to say a couple things to you um first of all you're going to go through a bunch of rehearsals we're not going to record the rehearsals we are going to record at the same time though, what this does is this allows me to create a master track of all of our tracks so that when I sync them in Premiere, um, I can sync them in one click versus needing to go through and resync everything. So I sync them to whatever the top, top track is. Um, and by doing that, I'm able to get a much cleaner version of the audio with the sync. Um, and then I can go through and I can do the editing from there. Makes it so much easier. This is why we try to record in one session versus having a bunch of different sessions needing to be recorded at the same time. Um, and I'm toying with some other ideas, but the other reason why we record in the same session is because we want to have that reaction. And we want to be able to feel like we're acting with somebody, acting against somebody um, versus uh, so that way we can find the tension points and versus doing it separately where you kind of have to make up and hope that the other person is, is doing what you think you hear. That's always a frustration uh, as an actor, uh, but it's also a frustration as an editor when there's not a balance in emotion or where the emotion stays flat versus where it could be really Really pulling hard and we saw a lot of that um and in pockets we saw a lot of it in pockets with uh, a fragile mind series we did most of it i would say 85 percent of what we did was everybody together but the instances where it wasn't together you could tell there was an imbalance of emotion um and so so that caused some extra work from an editing standpoint to try to create that want to try to avoid that all right so a couple things as i said earlier so we're gonna so the director is gonna say three two one cut I'm sorry, three, two, one, action. And then, then they're going to, um, at that point, when they say action, everybody needs to hit record at the same time. That's where we can get that whole track. And so when you hit record, it's this red button right here on Audacity. 
we hit record and you'll notice that the lines when you're talking should sh pop a little bit, but not a lot. It shouldn't be a lot of pop. That tells you that you're in a good distance. You don't want it to be small, like you're super far away or something like that. So like right now, I just lean back about, so now I'm about two and a half feet from the microphone. It's still going to pick up what I'm saying, but it's at a distance. So I'll have to enhance that in order to match what I had before. But likewise, you don't want to be too close because then you'll pop. And it doesn't take much to pop. So every time you hit that top, that one on the audacity scale there, on the positive and negative side, every pop ends up being something that has to be corrected. And you'll hear it. You'll hear it uh, when I when I release this. I'm going to go as much as I can unedited on this on this video. At any time during your recording with your director, you can say pause. And and the director can say pause. And what we're what what we want and what you want in that situation is a chance to redo the line you just delivered. And you could totally do that. Um, in fact, we we encourage you to have free license on that because we want you to be confident. And we can fix it on the other side with from an editing standpoint. Just make sure you give enough break between you saying pause and starting again. Take a breath. Take a moment. It's not a race. It's not like there's a, a finite amount of recording time that you have to have or anything like that. Um, you know, you, you there's so take your time. We're not, not going to hurt anything if we if we take our time on that and, and get it right. You do want to make sure that we have good continuity with our actors and the director may have you go back further. Just keep that in mind. At the end, though, so I notice that I've only hit record. When I say pause, I'm not going to pause. I'm not actually going to pause Audacity. I'm not going to pause anything. I'm just going to keep rolling with it. And then at the end, what I'm going to do, once the director says cut, they'll say and cut or something and cut. But once you hear cut, you hit stop. And when you hit that stop button, that signals the end of our recording session. From here, the director may say, all right, that was really great. It was as good as our rehearsals or better than our rehearsals, but it's still not there. It may give you a couple of notes and we may record another time. So keep that in mind. Um, but what we also wanna do is we wanna make sure that we have, um, you know, we understand what to do from here. So from here, the director says, okay, we're all set. That was great. That was fantastic. That sounded good. Sounded good. And we don't know until we actually get into the editing room whether or not it's going to be amazing to the point where we want to keep it. I would say 95% of all of the takes that we did during a Fragile Mind series we took, there was only about five or six um, individualized situations where we had actors redo anything at all. And that's, that's a tremendously low percentage. Um, so Fantastic. 95% is a really good number. If we can have 95% or better with loved ones, that's awesome. From here, you're going to get, click on file. You're going to go to export audio and you're going to name it. So in this case, we're going to name it uh, loved ones, right? Because that's the podcast. Then we're going to name the show. This is Audacity. You don't have to do all the cat. I just like to do all cats because it stands out to me. Audacity tutorial. We're going to call this one Joe. It's the character's name. So that's what we're going to do. Keep in mind where you're putting this. So I'm putting this in my documents file. So I'm going to be able to find it pretty easily after that. And I'm going to leave it a WAV file. The reason why I want to leave it as a WAV file, I'm going to leave it at the sample rate of 44,100 hertz as well, because that's a good sample rate. That's the default sam sample rate. I'm not going to mess with anything in here. I don't need to configure anything because Joe's going to do the editing on the back end. Um, I'm going to leave it as a WAV file instead of switching it to an MP3 file. The reason why I'm going to do that is because Wave gives you a little bit better, gives me a little bit more freedom when it comes to editing because I can slow down without tampering with the voice or I can speed up without tampering with the voice. And then I'm going to hit export. So again, you're not going to really change anything except for the file name. So then you hit export and it should have gone to your folders. So now let's take a look. Oh, look, I have two of them because I recorded another one earlier. Uh, and that's the one right here. Loved Ones Audacity Tutorial Joe, 8.25 p.m. That's what time it is. It's 20... Megabytes, it's a good size. Um, if it does end up going over the Gmail maximum, then just open up, just it'll it'll say that it'll be saved to a drive. Just make sure you give me access to the drive at brokenarts at gmail.com. All right. I think I've done enough uh, for this evening. I hope that helps you guys. We're about to swing into everything uh, and really get going. I've given some great notes to, to a couple of the folks that I've worked with uh, recently. Um, we really came up with an amazing, amazing run through for um, for Time to Talk, written by Chris Susie. So I'm excited to share that with everybody, too, once we get that edited. 
but yeah, that's it. That's it. I hope you guys have a good evening. I hope you guys have a fantastic time. Great experience with loved ones uh, and look forward to working with you uh, as we continue to do more, more of these awesome, fun podcasts. All right. Have a good night.